Okay, let's get to the meat and potatoes of uh, why I'm covering this. So I mentioned on uh, page 10, I, I missed pages. I'm sorry, Jeff's attorney and Jeff, I offended you. 10, 11, and 12. Um, yep, 10, 11, and 12. Let me read you my mention. A prime example was your only human source for accusing the Wilson parties of fraud, incompetence, and malfeasance, particularly in connection with the second PPP loan, Mr. Gore. That would be me. You hold Mr. Gore as a digital marketing oracle who did much more rational, much more calm, and much more focused on Jeff's marketing company analysts of this situation, who is in the business Jeff is in, in this marketing business. See December 6th video, you rely on Mr. Gore to contrast his digital ad business. I'm a marketing business. We also do traditional ads. We do mailers and stuff like that. We build websites, we build mobile apps. I would say that we focus on digital marketing, but we are at the end of the day registered as a marketing business. That's our code. That's our NICIS code is marketing. Um, see December, uh, you rely on Mr. Gore to contrast his digital ad agency with Free 52s quarter to quarter decline in gross receipts to communicate. So how do we know this? Like I had no idea they had quarter to quarter decline. Did you guys? Like I'm not sure, nobody has access to the books. Like I'm shocked this lawyer is making this example. Like we, in discovery, you must give us access to the books. If we, if he sues and we go to discovery, I have to have the, I cannot confirm any of this information Jeff is saying and for the retraction, I can't confirm that either. I don't have the books. I don't have your finances for the years. So quarter to quarter decline in gross receipts to communicate that Jeff and Free52 were either professionally incompetent or engaged in PPP loan fraud by cooking the books to get a second loan. At best, the reliance of Mr. Gore was reckless apples to oranges comparison, which I vehemently disagree with, apples to oranges, which you either knew or should have known based on the readily available online sources. Okay, let's talk about those online sources, Jeff, since you are stalking my LinkedIn every day, which I, I reached out to you several times before making these videos. I reached out to you Christmas Eve, I reached out to you Christmas. I didn't get a response from you, Jeff. For somebody sending this type of letter on the 22nd, I thought you would be very, very uh, interested in what I have to talk to you about. Mr. Gore's two businesses are not engaged in the same business as Free52, nor are they structured in the same way. One is called Runrex, which is particularly focused on SEM, search engine marketing, search in SEO and LSO. We don't do LSO again. Uh, we didn't update the website. If you use a Wayback Machine, the front page of the website has not been updated since uh, 2000, I think 16, 17. Okay, uh, indeed the first items that pop up on the website is search engine optimization. Free52 on the other hand is a technology and marketing consulting agency. So marketing consulting, wait, that's what I do. Wait, wait a second, this is not what I do? does not focus on SEO and other search related marketing tools. Really, you should though, Jeff, because I don't know how you're getting clients otherwise. Before the pandemic, Free52's business was built on in-person interactions from its sales pipeline, depending on in-person conferences and in-person events the company itself hosted to generate a large share of its revenue by providing in-person services, including small and large group workshops. The pandemic destroyed Free52's then existing model for sales and services, setting aside the generalized label of marketing. So they, they're, what, so what are we, so, they're, so read this, setting aside the generalized label of marketing, which provides no insight into the reality of Runrex and Free52 businesses, the companies are not comparable. So as long as we don't pretend that, as long as we don't think that they're marketing agencies or marketing, they're not comparable. What the hell are we doing, Jeff? What does your company do? Marketing. What does my company do? Marketing. I already, in a live stream, I showed you my tax, my partnership tax return with the, the number in code. I don't know your number in code, Jeff, but if you're doing marketing, I assume that you have the same. So under my tax partner tax return, which I've shown on a live stream, it says services marketing. 
and then it has a code which identifies it, I assume, as marketing. So, so read, read how stupid this is. Setting aside the generalized label of marketing. So as long as we don't talk about marketing, these companies are different. What the hell are we talking about then? What do I do every day? I do marketing. What do you do every day, Jeff? You do marketing. You have videos on your YouTube channel, which I screenshot by the way, 352, talking about marketing. In fact, I have videos on my channel dated way, way back. So it's not like I made them today with almost the same titles as you talking about marketing, go to product marketing, go to market products. I really am fascinated, you know, how, how you, you think that we're different companies. Like, oh, it's kind of like, as long as you don't consider they're both marketing agencies, they're different companies. The difference between 352 and Run Rex Abound, as you know, or neither are new, either new or should have known, have you engaged in any diligence as opposed to recklessly attacking the Wilson Party's reputation? 352's website displays headshots, names, and titles for 49 employees. I'm glad that Jeff feels so comfortable to put his employees like this out on the limb. I do not. I do not. Because people harass them, people you know, you're online. You are an I'm an online personality promoting both these websites. My employees and my workers, they don't want to have their headshots on a website, Jeff. And I haven't updated a website and I'm honored there. Because what's gonna happen, Jeff, you're gonna find out real soon, and these employees will too, that people will throw them as they have with mine in the past. And it has 68 associated employees on LinkedIn. So Jeff knows this because according to the PPP loans, I think there's like 52, there's not 68 of them. So he knows sometimes on LinkedIn, you, you pretend that you work at a place when you actually don't work at a place and there's no way for me to remove that from you. So Jeff knows that there's currently not 68 employees working at his company. And Jeff could have asked me, hey, um, Runrex does not appear to list any employees on the website besides beyond Mr. Gore and has 10 associated employees other than Mr. Gore on LinkedIn, none of whom are in the United States. This is, like I mentioned, you know, I run a channel like you, Jeff, Umu, uh, used to be MTG Lion, and I don't know, and from being canceled myself, I would never want anyone related to me to really have to deal with that type of backlash. Should something, should I be stupid or something like that. You have not learned that lesson yet, but I promise you, you will soon, right? You will soon enough because that's how the internet works. That's how trolls work. They don't, don't want to just hurt you. They want to hurt your employees. They want to hurt their families. That's how these people work online, Jeff. Maybe you don't get the hate that I've gotten, but once you get the hate, I promise you, for the safety and the well being and the mental health of these people, don't have them on the website and don't have them on LinkedIn. Uh, Mr. Gore run Rex, uh, runs Runrex out of the suburban home in Humboldt, Texas, which then he goes to list my home address. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff Wilson, for doxing me. Is doxing illegal or what? I don't know what. Maybe we have to figure out the law and case law, Jeff. I'll take you down with it if we have to be. Whereas Free52 has offices and free buildings in two states. Okay, Jeff, I'm not sure what you're saying. It sounds like you have a lot of overhead and that's why you needed a PPP loan to begin with. And it sounded like I'm lean. And get this part, this is my favorite part. Mr. Gore also stated that he took out a $1,000 PPP loan for Runrex, but there's no record of any PPP loans for Runrex on top of the free websites that have collaborated PPP loan data. Um, so yeah, so I claimed to have a thousand dollars in PPP loans. It turned out I had zero according to Jeff's lawyers. So now you're going to try to like sue me, Jeff, because like I don't have any PPP because I didn't take PPP loans. It would be one thing if I said I took a thousand, I really took a million or a ten hundred thousand or ten thousand like the great curator. But you literally are saying that I said I took a thousand, but I didn't take any. I got a little confused because the government did give me $1,000 in my bank account 
I don't know why it did that, but during the early stages of COVID, um, I did apply for PPP loans to see the process. And in one day I got a thousand dollars in my bank account. So my logical assumption was, oh, that came from the PPP loans. I didn't apply the second time, Jeff, like you did with your marketing agency. So I don't really have, I did it out of novelty to see what the process was. So if I didn't take PPP loans, you want to crucify me for that? It's absurd, Jeff. Mr. Gore's other business, Godless, likewise only provides apples to oranges. I don't, so when I was talking about my marketing agency, I was talking about Runrex. This Jeff dude is dragging my other business, which is consulting, marketing and legal consulting. It is a different business. It has a different uh, EIN number. It has, it's a different everything. And yet Jeff is willing to drag my other business with my other address, my other suburban home in Humboldt, Texas. Uh, Gunderless LinkedIn page. Are you also, I mean, the guy's just like such a creep, dude. He's such a creep. Why is he like looking at this stuff without telling me? In short, 352 and Jeff Wilson obviously has little common with Mr. Gore, Runrex, and Gunderless. I think you have a lot in common with me, Jeff. In fact, we share 15 connections and I live very far away from you. I would imagine we have a lot of the same, you know, interest in marketing. Did you, I've looked at your website, Jeff. I've screenshotted it all because when it comes time for exhibits, I want to make sure that you understand that we are in the marketing business together. You might think that we're a small little agency out in Houston and it's okay to bully us and punch us. It's not. Yada, 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 yada. And then it retracts it. His whole argument seems to be that I said I took $1,000 in PPP loans and they couldn't find that I took any money. That is a horrendous argument, right? When my thing, and they have a screenshot of it a little later. Um, <laughs> there's so many effing screenshots. Uh, um, yeah, as someone who owns a marketing agency too, so they said they're a marketing agent, they're a marketing consulting agency. I said, I own a marketing agency, Runrex. After the first PPP loans were issued, we had our best year ever. Financially, we did. You can look at our tax records. That is not a false statement, Jeff. Um, our clients who receive the loan spend more money on marketing than ever. I said every before, but ever before. Jeff is either lying or he is a terrible agency owner. I still believe that. I still stand by that statement. Right? Like what happened was a lot of my clients, they applied for PPP loans, they got them, they spent it on marketing. They did. So like not all the loans had to be spent on employees and stuff. I think some percentage of it at the time, because you, you were supposed to return, it's called a loan. You're supposed to return it. And I said, let me explain what happened. Clients were spending less, but they all applied for PPP loans. And once they received it, many of them spent it on new websites, social media marketing, content. I can show you my invoices, Jeff. I can show you that after the first set of PPP loans were given, my invoices jumped and they were all paid. I can show you paid invoices, Jeff. Uh, I'm shocked to hear that Jeff owns a marketing agency. We were killing it in a pandemic due to everyone needing to move their sales online, which is true. You can look at any marketing, digital marketing agency. I would not, I don't know what percentage of them, but I mean, I'm sure that government can figure that out, right? As an industry. I took a thousand dollar loan since I wanted to understand the process. I can't imagine why Jeff needed multiple million dollar loans. So again, if their argument is I didn't take a thousand dollar loan, I took a zero dollar loan. Okay, Jeff, you win. I made a mistake. I said I took a PPP loan for a thousand dollars. In fact, I took one for zero dollars. Are you happy, Jeff? Because I'm not happy, I'm not, not, I'm not done with you. Like, you could have asked me about this, Jeff, for somebody who is accusing somebody else of, you know, not contacting them. And, you know, you I, I, I've left many comments on your videos. You never responded to any of them. You never responded to a single comment on any of my videos. You never sent me an email. You never called me. You have lawyers scouting my LinkedIn, every message, everything on my LinkedIn. And you didn't, uh, my contact information is there. My email address is there. You could DM me on the LinkedIn. You could DM me on my social media that you have been stalking me on. Jeff, 
is a bully. He is. It's sad. A lot of the reason this country, in my opinion, now, now forget the legal stuff, this is just my opinion. A lot of the reason that we are so divided as a country, politically, left versus right, and so on, I mean, blue versus red, I mean, you can just find any division over anything. Racism, um, sexism, tra trans I identify, uh, gender identify, ism, or whatever, uh, classism. Um, I, I've mentioned it before, this isn't a unique concept to me. You're messing with me because I'm a small agency. If I was a much bigger agency than you, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have said this stuff about me. I know. This isn't the first time this has happened. Like I mentioned, there was another agency, and you can go contact them, Jeff. They're, I think they're one of the biggest agencies in Vermont. They're a huge agency. They're bigger than you. They're according to their LinkedIn. If we were to base everything on their LinkedIn, they have 179 employees. That should limit your uh, shirts to one. Contact them. See what happened with me. I'm not afraid to stand up against bullies, Jeff. You can ask that agency. They did the same thing that you are trying to do to me right now. But of course, I learned from that. I was very, you know, it came out of the blue. I actually got canceled. I got, you know, I have everything. So I got canceled from LinkedIn for defending myself, I, in my opinion. I got canceled from Twitter. I got canceled from my Google businesses. They all got absolutely decimated with bad reviews and then the, the thing got taken away from me. I lost a shit ton from that. But the person who accused me of that, she lost her job. So we go down this path, I promise you, I might lose and I'm okay with it, but you're gonna lose a lot more than me. You might kill a black mamba, but the black mamba is gonna poison you. You're gonna die on, alongside that black mamba. You, you might be able to crawl away a tiny bit more, but that black mamba, it ain't messing around. 